Hey everyone, so I'm gonna start doing a new thing for my blog and when I go to different cities and such I'm gonna do like a gay travel blog review of that city. Um, so today I'm in San Luis Obispo which is about halfway up the California coast. Um, and in terms of gay nightlife there really isn't that much to do here. They do have one like bar, it's called the Native Lounge, which is not a gay bar, but gay friendly, um, which is okay. And But they do have their own chapter of GALA, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance, and that's actually in a really nice building. Um, overall, the city is, it's a really like, clean, it's very pretty, it's a nice place to go in terms of maybe if you want to have a getaway with somebody you're dating. Um, but in terms of nightlife, if you're single, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this place. Um, and some of the activities do around here, well, obviously, are go to the beach, there's some like antique shops and such, you can go shopping. Um, Pismo Beach is relatively close, Hearst Castle. So definitely like a place you want to check out in terms of like maybe a bed and breakfast or some place if you want to go with a significant other. Um, I'm also going to start doing a rating system. And that's for safety, activities, and PDA. Um, in terms of safety, I'm going to give it like a four, four and a half. Um, you are pretty far away from other big cities. So in terms of gay friendliness, you know, there is a chance. But you're still in California, so you're relatively safe here. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to give it four and a half stars out of that. Um, activities, in terms of gay-related activities, I'm only going to give it like two and a half, three stars, because there's really not that much to do in terms of like gay-specific activities. However, there is a lot of stuff to do if you're willing to do it. Like, you know, if you come up here with friends or something, you know, boating and hiking and all these kind of things. Um, that's why I'm giving it two and a half, three stars, rather than just one if it was strictly gay activities. And PDA, I'm giving it two and a half stars. Um, again, this is, you know, California and it's relatively open-minded more so than a lot of places so you can probably get away with a little hand-holding or a little kissing but it is kind of its own little place it's fairly conservative compared to a lot of other places in California so I wouldn't say I'd recommend really hardcore holding hands touching each other's butts or whatever in this kind of place so that's it that's my only review it's definitely beautiful I would definitely check it out if you're in the area um, yeah, and that's it.